It was the car they had been looking for. The license plate was gone, but Harry Bosch could tell. A 1987 Honda Accord, its maroon paint long faded by the sun. It had been updated in 92 with the Clinton bumper sticker, and now even that was faded. The car was parked in a single car garage so narrow it made Bosch wonder how the driver had been able to get out. He knew he would have to tell the forensics people to be extra diligent while checking for prints on the outside of the car and the garage's inner wall. The forensics people would chafe at being told this, but he would become anxious if he didn't. Who found it? The landlord. The garage goes with an apartment that's vacant, so it's supposed to be empty. He opens it up because he's got some furniture to store. He sees the car. He starts thinking it might be stolen because of the missing plates. Think she's in there, Harry? No, I don't. Maria Gaston's been missing for 10 days now. If she was in the trunk, we'd smell it. She's not here. Good. Good. I don't like trunk cases. At least we'd have the victim's body to work with. Good for you, Maglite. Maybe some groceries. There's a Mayfair at the bottom of Beechwood. She might have stopped there on the way into the stables. Where's the manager? He went back up. He said take the elevator to the top. His place is the first one across the walkway. All right, we're going to go up. You wait here for SID and OPG. Don't let the tow truck guys touch the car until forensics takes a look. You got it. Here we go. Officers, I'm property manager here, Milano K. Harry Bosch, my partner, Jerry Edgar. Can we see the vacant apartment? Certainly.
How long has this apartment been vacant? Five weeks. Who would have known that the garage was empty down there? Ooh, quite a few people. All the residents. And in the past five weeks, I've shown this place to several interested parties. And I usually point out the garage to them. You keep the garage unlocked? Yes. Nothing in it to steal. You keep a record on the people that look at this apartment? No, not really. Uh, maybe a few callback numbers. But there's no sense in keeping anybody's name unless they rent the place. What about your former tenant? What happened to him? It was a her, actually. Lived here five years. Trying to make it as a screenwriter. Finally gave up and moved back home. Where's home? I sent the deposit check back to Austin, Texas. Did she live alone? No, she had a boyfriend, actually. But I think that ended before she moved out. When did you get that address in Texas? The officer said that the uh, car belonged to a missing girl. Young woman. Here, take a look. Maybe you know her. Maybe she might have looked at the apartment. No, no, I don't think I've ever seen her before. Not even from TV? She's been missing 10 days. It's been all over the news. I don't have a TV, detective. She's been in the newspapers, too. I, you know, I do read the papers from time to time. Oh, I've never seen a story about her. The fourth estate has arrived. Probably picked it up on a scanner. Mr. K. Mr. K, we'll need to speak to you more later. If you can, find the numbers and the names of the people that looked at the apartment. We also need to get the forwarding address of the girl that used to live here. And we still need to speak to the other residents about who might have seen the car being parked in the garage. bothering you, Harry. I got a bad feeling on this one. What kind of bad feeling? Feeling like we're never gonna find her. And if we never find her, we never find him. The killer?